Greetings, travelers. Welcome back to our Fracture and Ultra Rock Valley Wild review, this time for the Priest class. Priest has kind of an awkward set. A lot of these cards are like health buffs or like health manipulation, which is typically very weak, but we can take a closer look and see if, it if any of these cards make sense anywhere, at least. Let's open up with Bless. A two mana holy spell, give a minion plus two health, then set its attack equal to its health. This is inner fire plus two attack plus two health for two mana. This is a very solid buff card all around. Obviously, it fits in like old school inner fire combo priest. Maybe not exactly a two copies per deck kind of card, but like this card reminds me a little bit of cards like Power Word Feast or Extra Arms. Back when Extra Arms was at two mana. At its root, it's plus two plus two with the potential for an insane upside. So like definitely an above average card for, for what it does. Inner Fire Priest is a viable combo deck, if a little on the obscure side right now. The other consideration is playing this in Aggro Priest. It's a holy spell, doesn't work with Dark Bishop Benedictus, so that's probably not gonna happen. I don't know, Bless is a decent card, there are homes for it. We're gonna put Bless in B tier. Give to the Naru, one mana holy spell, restore three health to all characters, if any are still damaged, draw a card. One mana draw a card with upside is almost always playable in some form or another, right? Like look at Flare, for instance. The restoring three health to all characters as an upside works with Northshire Cleric. It works with cards that turn healing into damage, like uh, Embrace the Shadow. There are some neat combos, neat tricks that you can do with this card. In worst case scenario, you can always cycle it. There's probably some priest deck that wants this. You might play this like in Raza Priest, for instance, if, if Raza Priest were still playable, you know? So we're gonna call this card B tier. Next is Luminous Geode, two mana, one four. After a friendly min minion is healed, give it plus two attack. Yeah, this is pack filler. D tier. Storm Pike Aid Station, three mana. At the end of your turn, give your minions plus two health, last three turns. And this is kind of a rough sell compared to the Paladin card. The Paladin card's a more substantial buff, but this affects the minions that are already on board, so it's a little easier to work with. Priest and heavy board minion presence don't really go very well together right now, except in the Shadow Aggro Priest style. This card does not work in that deck, so probably not gonna see very much of this. We're gonna call this one D tier. Spirit Guide is a 5 mana 5-5 five, five taunt, death rattle, draw a holy spell, and a shadow spell. 5 mana draw 2 cards is usually playable. I can see this card having a home somewhere, probably not like Big Priest or something because you end up drawing a ton of cards and fatiguing yourself and you have better things to do anyway. Probably not any like low to the ground priest. There might be like a control priest that uses this, but mm, I don't know. Yeah, probably C tier. Deliverance is 3 mana holy spell, deal 3 damage to a minion, honorable kill, summon a new 3-3 three, three copy of it. Basically it's conditional mind control at best and spot removal at worst. Like you can do worse with spot removal I think. It's kind of expensive but when it works it's probably really good. Where would you play this? Not in big priest because you don't want to res the thing that you steal. Some kind of controlling priest, raza priest, that kind of thing. Obviously not shadow priest because it's holy. I think B tier is probably ambitious for this card. But when this card's good, it's probably really good. Next up is Nagic Hexen, 4 mana, 1 4 minion. Battle Cry, take control of an enemy minion, Death Rattle, give the minion back. Conditional mind controls are always interesting, often good. Like this one's pretty accessible and it can, it's probably really scary. The aggressive priest decks might be able to use this. It's really just a big tempo swing. Just because it doesn't have an obvious home in a while doesn't mean this card's not powerful. I think it's a strong card that just needs a home. Also you can, like you can silence it or transform it to get rid of the death rattle. Or you can steal like a taunt minion, the taunt die first. Or, or like a charge minion, rush minion, those minions die first. And then the death rattle's irrelevant. Altogether, strong card, just needs something to do with it. We'll call this one B tier. Next is Undying Disciple, 6 mana 3 7 taunt, death rattle, deal damage equal to this minion's attack to all enemy minions. This is this set's Convincing Infiltrator. Like, Convincing Infiltrator was 5 mana 2 5 taunt, destroy a random minion when it died, so it was in, like a cheap, accessible alternative to like Obsidian Statue back when that was good. Is this something the Big Priest really wants right now? Not really. Big Priest doesn't really have any problems with outright board control exactly. It might be decent against aggro but it's also really underwhelming against everything else. We're going to go ahead and call this card C tier. Next up is Shadowward Devour. One mana shadow spell. Choose a minion. It steals one health from all other minions. So this can be a mass AoE removal spell in some circumstances, obviously, against a bunch of one health minions. You can play this You can play this targeting your opponent's minions too, if there's something that you don't mind uh, surviving the wave or something like that. Use it to buff your minions. Like, this card is tricksy. It doesn't seem to do a lot on the surface, but there are, there are some interesting applications for it. I don't really think it's worth crafting, honestly. 
honestly, considering it's an epic, but maybe somebody finds something to do with this card that's pretty neat. We're going to call this one C tier. Finally, we have Zyrella the Devout. Zyrella is an 8 mana hero card with battle cry, trigger the death rattle of every friendly minion that died this game. You have the hero power as well, which flips between Holy Touch, which is 2 mana restore 5 health, and Void Spike, which is 2 mana deal 5 damage. Uh, 2 mana deal 5 damage is obviously very good. 2 mana restore 5 health is contextually good too. Being able to switch between the two is kind of interesting. It's a slow win con, slow stabilization tool. It, it feels a little watered down compared to what we're used to, like Shadow Reaper Anduin. But to be fair, Shadow Reaper Anduin's kind of busted anyway. So the Battle Cry, how does that weigh in? You can do some interesting things with the Battle Cry. It's probably a very interesting meme combo card of some form or another. Like you can trigger Death Rattles, like uh, Bad Luck Albatross, Weasel Tunneler, stuff like that. People make me play those decks all the time. And this card is probably very good at it. You can get some value too with like Dead Ringers or Loot Hoarders, or there, there are all kinds of weird combos. I'm sure somebody's gonna find something that really makes this card sing. If the Death Rattles were create a minion style death rattles then maybe that's where things would really shine but priest doesn't really have a ton of effects like void caller void lord or um things like that except in neutrals so and it's a one-shot effect it, it's altogether i think you're spending a lot of mana and you're not getting a ton for uh for Zyrella in the short term not enough to offset the mana cost so it's kind of kind of a rough card altogether so we're gonna go ahead and call this one c tier so altogether, the Priest cards are probably about average, too. There's some that have potential, like Bless is a very good buff. Gift of the Naru is a very good, like, cycling utility card. Deliverance is probably met meta-dependent, but has a lot of upside. Magic Hexen is also meta-dependent, but probably has a lot of upside. Like, they're, those cards at least have potential. Everything else is kind of meme tier, but at least these cards are interesting. I think the Priest cards are kind of neat, honestly. Even if they're not necessar necessarily meta-breaking, at least. Anyway, that's it for Priest. Next class up is Rogue on the review, so be sure to check out that video. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you there.